Well, good morning, everyone. It's an honor to be here, uh, to be standing on this stage with such exceptional people and so many people in this room who've played an important role in the history and will play an important role in the future of our province and our country. Your honors, Honorable Minister Peter McKay, elected officials, my friend Lee Richardson, together we jointly represent Mount Royal University. I think we're very proud of that. Everyone here who's representing the military in various capacities, distinguished guests and scholarship recipients. And thank you, President Daugherty, for inviting me today. I want to extend a special greeting to the members of families whose who have members that are currently serving in the armed forces and who have had people in their family who are veterans. This is a week of remembrance. And today, as we think about everyone who has come before, I'm honored that we have the opportunity to be part of this very important occasion. And I'm so pleased that Mount Royal, as we've heard, has protected this legacy. Physically, this is a very special place. The fact that Mount Royal University has continued to cherish the history that's come before in this city and in this province and connecting back to what Canadians have been able to do around the world to protect our values is something that we must always cherish. Now like His Honour and the General, I'm a very proud alumnus of this institution and I'm thrilled to be in such distinguished company, many that are in this room today. And I was always very proud to be a student here. But today I'm prouder of this institution than I've ever been. Because today Mount Royal pays tribute to its long and proud connection with the military. And it honors the many people that are connected with this institution, students, faculty, staff, and alumni, who've served our nation in the most selfless of ways. This place, that we stand in has always said that it's not just about teaching students. It's about shaping citizens, thoughtful, engaged citizens who understand and accept the responsibilities that come with the many privileges that we share as Canadians. And whether we look at the students at Mount Royal today or we think of the people that have come before, I think that's always been the case. But no one assumes these responsibilities more deeply than our members of the armed forces. No one better exemplifies the Canadian values of duty and service to others. And no one pays so high a price when these values must be defended, whether it's here or in some of the world's most dangerous places. Mount Royal's Military Memorial Initiative and the bursaries that are being awarded today will help strengthen the link between the armed forces and the citizens that they serve. And for all of you who are receiving awards today, it will be a very personal link. For most of us, the horrors of war and conflict are far away, something we see on the news or we read about in the paper. They punctuate our life, but they're not a part of our life every day. But for the men and women of the Canadian Armed Forces and their families, the dangers are all too close and the sacrifice is real. And I want to pick up on something that the minister said when he was talking about the number of girls that will be educated in Afghanistan. This year is the first year that girls who've been able to go to school in Afghanistan will graduate from high school. Yeah. It's a tremendous gift that we give to the world but it's also a tremendous sacrifice. And as we come close to Remembrance Day and we think of this week of remembrance, one of the things I'm very proud of as a Canadian is that we now think very often about the sacrifice that Canadian soldiers and their families make more often than on the 11th of November. To me, that's what this day is all about. It's about the ongoing remembrance. So thank you to Chastelaine, General de Chastelaine, for chairing this wonderful initiative. Thank you to Mount Royal University for organizing this program. This is a touching and meaningful time for this institution, for Calgarians, and for Albertans. And thank you to the members of the Canadian Armed Forces who commit so much of their lives to our values as Canadians. And on behalf of the people of Alberta, 
I thank you. We honor you every day, and we will continue to do that.